Hi, uh, we're here to see Mr. Pringle. Oh, Mr. Pringle won't be here for a few minutes. That's okay, mm -hmm. I'm on my way. My, but you two are early birds this morning. Huh. Well, you know what they say, right? The early bird uh, catches the worm. <clears throat> what have you there? This is your academy book. Mm -hmm. If you would look at it more frequently, you would know what it is, wouldn't you? Then I'll ask you a few questions. Fine, ask me any question you want. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Here's one. What's the difference between battery and assault? Battery and assault. Mm -hmm. In an assault case, the victim doesn't necessarily have to be harmed physically by the suspect. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and battery, it's always a physical contact from the suspect to the victim. You know what I mean by physical, honey? It's like one of those things. Good morning, Mr. Pringle. Uh -huh. Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle, my name is Frisco Jones. I'm representing the Port Charles Police Department in Upper State, New York. I am hereby instructed to serve you this subpoena. Everything seems to be in order on the subpoena. Well, then, if you would show us the records for the Purity Water Company, that would be just... Oh, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Mr. Pringle, now take a good look at the subpoena it gives us the right to see those books now i'm sure you want to cooperate with the law don't you well, of course i'll cooperate in any way i can but i certainly plan to call the purity water company and get their approval before i turn over confidential records to yankee strangers let me show you something here mr pringle all right this is a subpoena okay from the police department you see what name it says right there it says harry pringle now that's you right that's right Okay. Well, then, I think that gives us the right to look at those records. Well, so if you would please, sir. I don't know about that. Just hand over the records or Officer Jones will throw the book at you. Uh, I, I have an idea here. Okay, Harry. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. You show us the books right here and now, and we'll look at them here in the office. That way you don't have to worry about us taking them out of Laurelton, okay? Oh, well, that sounds better. Come with me there in the office. Thank you, Harry. You know, I'd lose my major account if the company I found had let the records out of this office. Thank you, Mr. Pringle. They're not the same. Well, what about that? There's nothing wrong with those looks. I've been keeping the purity accounts for almost 30 years. Mr. Pringle, where can I find another copy of this ledger here? Well, I, I have a duplicate set at the uh, purity offices. Mr. Pringle, I'm going to have to borrow your book here. Uh, now, you promise. Listen, you just relax, okay? I'm not going to take your book out of town. I'm going to take it over to the purity water company. I'm going to compare it with theirs, okay? Well, I suppose that would be all right. I'll tell you what, I'll have your book back to you before you even know it. Well, I would prefer you have it back before Jen Jennifer Talbot knows it. <clears throat> you got it. This these are clean. According to these pages, Russell Skimmy doesn't even show up on this. That means someone forged the figures of the purity office. Let's we got to get over there and find out anything we can. We can get in and out of there before they even open up. Let's go. Thanks. Good morning, Purity Water Company. Uh, hello, Sarah. This is Ted Holmes. Oh, Ted, are you back in the office? No, no, I'm uh, still uh, with Jennifer in Fort Charles. I wanted to warn you about something. Oh? Yes, do you remember uh, Frisco and Felicia? They were uh, Terry's friends from Port Charles. Mm, how could I forget them? Yes, well, they are back in Laurelton today asking a lot of questions. Well, what are they looking for? Well, what they want is they want to see the uh, purity copy of the ledger books, and uh, under no circumstances should they be allowed to see those records. Well, Martha, I have to run. Uh, there are two of my out-of-town friends that come in, and they're here for a visit. Did uh, Frisco and Felicia just walk in? Uh, that's right. Oh, well, uh, look, just don't let them see the ledges. Have I made myself clear? Oh, yes, Martha. Now, I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. 
Well, how's Felicia Frisco? <laughs> what a surprise. Is Teresa back in Malton? Oh, no, she and Kevin and poor Charles getting settled in their new apartment. Oh. <laughs> we came down here to see the Purity Water Company books. Oh, now what would you want to look at dusty old books for? <laughs> I'm here as a representative of the poor Charles police. Oh, well. <laughs> now tell me, Sarah. Are these the ledgers over here? You may not look at those books. I'm to stall, Sarah, because you see I have what we call a subpoena here. That gives me the right to look at those books. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know nothing about subpoenas or what rights they give you to look at things, but I do know one thing. I know my job, and part of that is I thank God the confidentiality of our company's records. Have you ever heard of the term contempt of court? I will cross that bridge when I come to it. You're making this very difficult, you know that? What? What? What did you take? What did you take and put in your purse? I saw you put something in your purse. Oh, it's a kissing. No, it wasn't. I saw you take something right off of my desk. Now, what is it? No, I didn't take it. Yes, you did. No, now, you give me that. What is going on here? What? I asked a question. Frisco Jones, Port Charles Police Department. I have a subpoena here that says I can take a look at those books. I know who you are, boy. Let me see the subpoena. <laughs> <laughs> what have they been teaching you in that academy? Jump rope? This subpoena says Mr. Pringle. It says nothing about the Purity Water Company. Well, there must be some mistake there. Right. Now, get the hell out of here. Don't you think you've given Miss Sarah enough trouble for one day? Let's go. Mm -hmm. I hope that you never show up in Laurelton again, because next time, if you do, I'm going to throw you right in jail. Excuse me, Sheriff. Thanks for hospitality. Mm -hmm. I'm just extending a little uh, professional courtesy to a fellow police officer. I've got nothing to tell you. Oh, Sheriff, I'm sorry. I think you took it from you in there. There were two different notes I had to settle with. Good girl. <laughs> but he didn't get the Yeah, we'll read this and smile, huh? Let's get the hell out of here. There's a plane that leaves in 20 minutes. Well, you did good, Sarah. The board would have been angry if they'd gotten those books. Well, they have nothing to worry about. I wouldn't be cocky, Sarah. The board still has you figured as a weak link. You'd best be careful. I am not the one who will let them down. used to document Russell's skimmings. In the ledger is three years newer than all the other entries. Oh, that's fantastic. There's more. Um, Robin, why don't we see how your reading yeah, coming along, all right? Give us Felicia. Sure. Felicia was able to grab a note off of Sarah's desk. The handwriting matches what's in the ledger. That means that Sarah was trying to divert us towards Russell away from the real killer, right? This puts everything in a new ballpark. Robin, got to get the court to allow us to hear that tape. Come on, guys. 